Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today, the topic is called What are the advantages of online learning? So for awesome suggestions and advices, you can put me through the links in the description section below. So I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Okay, let's get back to the topic today. So online group learning and discussion has become a favorite method uh, regarding the facilitation and promoting individual uh, critical thinking skills. Not only that, many articles agree with the online learning as an excellent method for group collaboration within the private and the um, uh, public organization. So in discussing the advantages of online learning, let us look at the benefits and challenges of the online learning, especially web conferencing. So first of all, let, let us look at the benefits of the, uh, for the participants. So what are the benefits of uh, web conferencing or online learning for the participants. And next one, I'll talk about the um, challenges for moderators and uh, uh, facilitators. So first of all, benefits for the participants, number one. So more people can participate without restraint uh, of time and place. This is, of course, critical, isn't it? Number two is people uh, who may not be, be comfortable in participating in the face-to-face -face in group, and they will have a voice in um, the online learning and they will have a more brave you know to some people they have more brave not uh, if they are not camera shy they can they more feel more at ease in talking um, on the online learning of course so the next one is um, guess what is asynchronous communication allows flexibility in individual schedules so we next we come to number four now so party participants have the time and space uh, to focus independently on the process and content. And point five is participants have time for reflection, of course, and also um, they rather than the knee jerk um, reactions. And which kind to number six, there are more data and ideas are collected. And number seven, the participant will has unlimited space to express their views. And number eight, everyone can see everyone's contribution, of course, online, so that you can see each other through the um, images, the camera, and the, um, yeah. So, they, uh, so everyone can uh, see everyone's contribution and build upon them. And uh, let's come to the last one, which is, uh, uh, you will provide you satisfaction with the process, which produces increased uh, buy into results. This is actually studied by quite a few groups of researchers, other education researchers. Uh, they are, I'll give you the name, there are quite a few of them. So they are Hoyt, Kleber, Swenson, Rees and Milton uh, in 1998. Okay, 90, that was a long time ago. And I, I will tell you the reason why I like uh, the past researchers and their work, and uh, which is actually very relevant to nowadays modern society, which brings us how are we coming about from the past research until now then we know everything we got all the elements we got all the terms you know all results from the past researchers and the uh, the results and the their um, great work you know are done by them and so that we can sort of like going into more advanced into that that terms or elements and we can like nowadays people can invent more elements and into uh, or they can make it more better in the in the in a particular terms or elements so we can improve isn't it now of course we come to the challenges for the moderators and facilitators facilitators in terms of web conferencing or online learning the point number one is 
uh, participants might have access, must have the access to tools and the skills uh, to use them, of course. Number two, silent or lurking participants. Have you heard about silent? They never talk, they never participate, but they, they are just like invisible in online, but probably they have uh, acquired knowledge and they, they don't like to talk, you know. So here, uh, the research say that the silent or lurking participants remain invisible to the group. This, uh, uh, as the researcher has uh, suggested, it, this might be the challenges for the moderators and the uh, facilitators. So number three, we come to number three is the participants must be encouraged to scheduling and spending time on the process. So if the moderators and uh, um, facilitators, they must schedule the time and they must stay and help the learners you know, during the process, during the specific time schedule. Now we come to point four, the loss of face-to-face -face social interaction affects the development of group identity. So, of course we all know that um, like face-to-face -face, uh, online learning is like just virtual. It's not really like interaction in as a human being. So it, it will look sometimes uh, to people that it might um, help not enhance the development of the group, but it, uh, uh, it affects the development of group identity, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that was researchers, they research about it. So number five, we come to number five, is participants need responsible feedback to avoid feelings of isolation. So participants, they need responsible feedback. So the moderator and facilitators need to give them the feedback in order for, for them to improve and to solve their problem and to solve whatever issues of learning they have. Isn't it? Number six, Coping with the volume of data generated can be overwhelming. So after the, um, the group learning, of course, they need to collect the data from the learners and from the particular things, you know, everything, the data they collected, it can be overwhelming. Isn't it? And number seven, participants must be encouraged to keep messages concise and on topic. Here, participant is referring to the moderators and the facilitators. So they have to keep the language concise so they understand it as understandable by the uh, by the learners, uh, online learners, and also on the topic, they cannot keep, uh, they have to keep on track on the topic, not out of the point, you know, and distraction, which uh, keep the learners might be given the distraction if you talk about something else, you know, not, you, you have to come back to the topic, that is what, what they want. And number nine is, um, Oh, number eight, we come to number eight. So moderator must help to fill no ideas and discussion to adhere decision. So whatever uh, suggested by learners or uh, people learning online, they must feel that they must help them to uh, help them to have, give them more knowledge about the particular uh, suggestions or ideas, give them more ideas so, so that they can, uh, the learners can make up the decision and uh, by the facilitators, you know, which helps to facilitate their response in particular issues or problems or uh, areas of learning, okay? So if you like the contents, of course, uh, you uh, hit the button and uh, subscribe to my channel. So I will bring you new ingredients, new insights and new topics every Monday and uh, Thursday so you will not miss anything. So actually, I have a video for you, uh, which I made quite a while ago. It's called the um, technical infrastructure. You can find the video link from the above. Okay. Now there is some more um, extra hints for the for the moderators and the facilitators. Oh, before that, I will have to tell you. I have to introduce my uh, links below in the description section, the book section, where you can buy and click to buy the books and for reading and I I want to emphasize that reading is very good for you because reading can give you the internal insights into what you already know and it will give it will gain give you the knowledge of what you have already know and advance your knowledge, advance your experience so you have more uh, uh, sort of like open up your eyes and know that um, where is all my experience from, why my experience, why am I doing something like that 
and it is really good for you because um, you have experience, you have no knowledge, you have nothing, isn't it? Nothing. I mean, you have 50%, why not you gain another 50% for, uh, for knowledge, then you have 100%, isn't it? Then you become a professional. So reading is really good because it helps you to ground you and help you to be firm, internal stable, confident, and self image will heighten your self has esteem will heighten because when you read you are all by yourself and when you are distracted by other things you come back again then you still by yourself and you are still yourself and you absorb in the space by yourself and then after that you have knowledge you gain so much you know this is speaking from the experience so you can click the um, description uh, section in the book section you can click and buy and read and also I earn a little bit of commission isn't it both gain and also uh, if you like my um, contents remember to put your thumbs up and share it with your friend okay now we come to the another part of the section which is there's another good hints for the moderators and facilitators by the researcher they say um, the researcher should remain in the background and helps to provide a sense of order. So a moderator who does need to become involved in the process is most effective when speaking in the voice of a neutral third party person and not in the personal uh, view of the individual. Okay? So this helps to ensure that even when the moderator takes on an active or proactive role in a forum, interaction remains centered on the issues rather than the personalities so what the moderator what they mean is the moderator and facilitators always focus on the issues and the problems and uh, the way uh, they want uh, the learners to be improved in the issues of uh, way uh, of learning and issues or area of uh, where they lack of um, the knowledge of how uh, particular tasks you know, they're not focused on the, the personalities of the learners. They always focus on the issues of learning and to improve the learning and develop, uh, development as well. Okay, that's my basic uh, point for the topic today. So that's all for me. And for all awesome suggestions and advices, you can book me through the links in the description section. So I will give you all awesome some insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Isn't it good? Anyway, uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. It's a very short topic. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, until next time.